Just one day after Texas Governor Greg Abbott outlawed COVID-19 vaccine mandates, one Tennessee House Republican is pushing the matter with GOP leaders here in the state. Republican Representative Bruce Griffey sent an email comparing some of his colleagues to, quote, medical Nazis for their support of vaccine mandates. State Capitol reporter Gerald Harris talked with the representative, responding to the criticism over that message. Paris, Tennessee Republican Bruce Griffey isn't shying away from controversy. I'm a country lawyer from West Tennessee. Sometimes, you know, you throw some of these uh, hyperbolic uh, bombs to kind of get people stirred up. In an email to House members, some senators and Governor Bill Lee Griffey writes he's frustrated that the legislature has, quote, a number of medical Nazis in the Tennessee House and Senate that think it's okay for some Tennesseans to discriminate against fellow Tennesseans by requiring vaccines, by threatening them with the loss of their job and or ability to conduct business. I'm frustrated that uh, more of the membership in the GOP haven't stood up for the rights of citizens. Uh, during the COVID pandemic. Griffey, who took part in an anti-mask and vaccine mandate rally at the Capitol in September, also included COVID misinformation in the letter. Writing countries have found success using the drug ivermectin and other therapies to battle COVID. Ivermectin is not an FDA-approved drug to fight COVID. I feel like there's such a push for the vaccines that uh, alternative therapies are being pushed to the side. You know, the monoclonal antibodies, uh, those are effective. Representative Vincent Dixie, a Democrat, says using that kind of rhetoric in comparison to brutal dictators is inappropriate. Extremely divisive, and it's dangerous. Dixie adds politics is getting in the way of public health. Many of the people that is spitting and spouting this rhetoric have had the vaccine. They've had COVID. They've had, they've had these issues, and they've, they've taken the appropriate uh, measures to make sure that they don't get sick again. But they're pandering to their base or their potential base in order to move their political ambitions. However, Griffey says that's not the case. It's about medical freedom. It's incumbent upon govern government to try to protect the rights of individuals. and They shouldn't have to be forced to choose from being able to work or not work if they don't want to take this vaccine or not. And again, if you want to take the vaccine, take it. In Asheville, I'm Gerald Harris. All right, our sister station, WKRN, reached out to the Speaker of the House, Cameron Sexton, for his response to this. So far, they've not heard back.